side. Lost one down the sideline. Caught. Touchdown, Carolina. He's under pressure. And they sack him all the way back at the five-yard line. Oh, what a way to light it up here at Williamsburg Stadium. On a gorgeous day for football at williams Price Stadium, a rash of turnovers could not spoil the Gamecocks' victories. They have a season high in total offense, and they hold the Gators to 2 of 13 or so on third down. They win it 28 to 20. Coach, congratulations. Your seventh win of the season with two games to go. How would you feel about the ball game? Well, it was a sloppy, especially early in the game. Disappointed with some turnovers. We haven't turned the ball over all year, but extremely proud of our, of our football team. I talked to our team after the game, and I said, hey, two years ago, we're a three and nine ball club. And, and to, to get where we are, we're not, we're not satisfied with where we are. Not at all. But, but the progress has been outstanding. I'm really proud of our players. Fifth conference win. That's gotten better each season. It's the best since 2013. A, a rugged ball game. You hold Florida to 301 yards. Uh, talk a little bit about what your defense did today, particularly in the first half, was just dominating. Well, we really negated the run game. They had the two power plays that we didn't fit right, and that's on us as coaches. We'll get that corrected. Obviously, the deep ball at the end, but we got off the field on third down. That, that was the key part, and we, we limited drives, and our offense was able to maintain a lot of drives. Coach, on our Palmetto Health Injury Report, I saw D.J. Smith did not play in the ball game. And then Shy Smith, one of your young wide receivers, came out and was in street clothes. How are the guys doing? Shy got, I think, poked in the eye. It was not a hit, uh, but he had a blurry vision in one of his eyes, and we, they didn't feel like he could go back in the game. DJ was a game time decision. We didn't feel comfortable with him in pregame moving around, so he was going to be available in an emergency only. But other than that, I think we're good. The Gamecocks take down the Gators in a big way at Williams Price Stadium. 28 to 20. We'll have more highlights from the ball game and all our superlatives when we come back on Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp. Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp is brought to you by Wild Wing Cafe. We've got just the thing to make you wild. Crescent Construction, the official roofer of the Gamecocks. Ram Trucks, guts, glory, Ram. Coach Muschamp's clothes are provided by Britons of Columbia. Gamecock football with Coach Will Muschamp is a production of Gamecock Sports Marketing. No one can stop me when I taste the feeling. Nothing could ever bring me down. Nothing, nothing could ever bring me down. Taste the feeling. Okay, it's time to belly up to the bar because it's the last call to save big on 2017 Ford F-Series. Cash in on the truck that hauls the most and has more efficiency at the pump with an EcoBoost engine and a high-strength military-grade aluminum alloy body. Time to get in on America's best-selling trucks 40 years running. Because you snooze, you lose, pal. Get 10,837 total savings on a 2017 F-150. Plus, first responders get an additional 1,000 at your Carolina Ford dealer. This is it. This is the moment when legacies are made and good becomes glorious. But legacies aren't just granted on game day. You can make them anytime. Will it be today or someday? The glory lies in your choice. This is the moment. What will your legacy be? You build legacies. We protect them. Join us every week at Wild Wing Cafe for Carolina Calls with head coach Will Muschamp from 7 till 8 p.m. Wild Wing Cafe is Columbia's home for hot wings, cold beer, and good times. Tune into Carolina Calls every week and go to wildwingcafe.com for more information. Welcome back to Gamecocks winners today at williams Bryce Stadium uh, to go to 7-3 and three on the season. It's time now for our keys to the game brought to you by Toyota. Toyota. 
let's go places. Uh, Coach, one of the things you talked about was taking the Florida running game, shutting that down and see if these quarterbacks could play. And then Malik Zaire goes out of the ball game and, and you got yourself a backup in there. How did you do in the keys of the game that you thought were Felt important? Felt really good about the run game. I thought we tackled well. I thought we fit the run other than the two runs, the one on our sideline where they hit the power play of Thompson hit, and then on the touchdown run going into the end zone. But other than that, I thought, again, third down we got off the field. I wish we didn't give up the big one there late. In the, and the score before half was kind of a momentum letdown for our football team. But offensively, the balance we had is what we've got to have in every game. That was a season high in rushing for your football team as well. Let's go to williams Bryce Stadium, a noon kickoff between the Gamecocks and the Gators. And Randy Shannon, always in a tough spot as an interim coach. And this week's highlights presented by Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. Well, they, they took the ball here, and it was good to get started with the three and out again. Parker White continues to kick off extremely well. Uh, but, you know, we get the ball coming right here on a, 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 an outside run with A.J., which he's outstanding with. Uh, really running extremely hard. I thought we had our running game things were blocked well, but I thought AJ and Mon ran extremely hard in the game. Uh, here a beautiful catch there against a great player. Duke Dawson's a good a cover guy as there is in, in college football, and Shy goes up with a one-hander and makes the play. It shows you his ability moving forward, and then we, we come back here on the boot here, and then Jake's able to run through contact and, and get to the touchdown. Brian Evers does a really nice job of shielding the defender, so we get a score out quick. We wanted to get out of the gates quick, and, uh, and, and I was really pleased with the drive right here. 7 nothing Gamecocks has Bentley's third rushing touchdown of the season. Well, they came up with some power read runs, a quarterback counter. They actually hit us for 23 yards later in the game, but we again we played the runs extremely well right here and this is a miscommunication between Jake and the receiver uh, but, but but look at the great effort of our football team you got Zach Bailey laying out you got Hayden Hurst knocking the ball off the guy you got a bunch of Gamecocks around the ball and you know that's the mantra of our football team right there we're never going to quit we're never going to give up and and really proud of our guys to be to fight right there we had a fourth and one situation as well as we were playing defensively I didn't want to give them a short field and then uh, Joseph hang one's up there and a great job by Javon Charleston getting on the football Keyson Nixon, really good coverage right there. Unfortunately, Brandon put the ball on the ground for them, uh, but we were able to recover the football. We tried to take a shot at the end zone, and I got to give Chauncey Gardner good credit right here. I, I don't think Jake saw him. It was a wheel route. We thought him had, we had him picked off inside, but again, Jacob August, outstanding play right there to, to keep them in the green and for us to make another stop defensively. And then we hit the inside zone with Mon Denson right here. When they're in man coverage, the only person left is going to be the middle field safety. So we're able to crease the defense well blocked by our football. Team. That's Mon's first of his career. You get the extra point, and they are up 14 nothing. But coach, it's uh, about in the end of the first quarter, five turnovers in the first quarter alone. Just an unfortunate. We got to do a better job of, of communicating with our guys. You know, right there, Damani's heck, he's trying to block a guy. He's not really sure where the ball is. We got to do a better job of communicating that from the returner standpoint in our entire punt block team. It's an unfortunate situation. We get cut on the perimeter in that situation. Jamarcus has got to stay outside in and force the ball back inside. But we held him to a field goal here. So it's a really good job by our defense of standing up in the red zone and you know holding to a field goal. Each team successful in the red zone, but Carolina forcing the field goals there. And then a couple of long runs. Coach, I guess you gave up four explosive plays today, each in the passing game and the run game as well. There was one of them. Well, that was, you know, we got to fit the run better than that situation there. And then they do a nice job with the quarterback counter. They had us outnumbered by one. Anytime they have the quarterback running with a lead blocker, they're going to have one, you know, plus one on you in the run game. But again, we held them to a field goal, so that's good defense right there. We come back and, and answer. Really nice run by AJ. You see he's running through contact, getting on the second level, really doing a nice job right there. Really good throw right there uh, and a great catch by Brian Edwards to get us right there to a fourth down situation. And we, we go forward and, and Mom pounds it up in there and we were able to get a good surge with our offensive line and really proud of the way Mon's running. Mon's second of the day and second of his career at South Carolina. And Coach, this is what you talked about right at the end of the, the, yeah. the first half. 339 to start the series. You're up 21-6. We fall down in a man-covered situation. They hit the slant on us, but they're able to get the ball in the end zone. That's extremely disappointing. We start the third quarter with a really nice drive. And in, in a critical second and 10 here, Jake's pressured, gets the ball out to A.J. Really nice job right there. A first and 10, and, and Jake gets whacked pretty good. Back shoulder ball to Brian Edwards, and that's a, that's a hard cover. Uh, we fake the speed sweep here. We're trying to hit the wheel route, and in that situation, we just got to eat the ball or throw it away. We, we can't afford an interception in that situation because those, those mistakes kept them back in the game, and they throw a swing pass, and that's 308 pounds coming inside out. Javon Kinlaw right there. 
Javon uh, with a great sideline to sideline play and backed up the Gators and Felipe Franks. Very athletic kid, coach. He surprised me with his running ability. Really today. can run. Had a 70 yard run against Texas A&M, but we held again there. It's 21-13. Really good job by Jake. A team that's going to play a lot of man coverage. He can make you pay as well. And a really good job sliding and getting down and be, being a protected player. Uh, come back with a power play. Uh, A.J. Turner really hits it. A great run right there. Wish he could have made that one guy miss there to get the ball in the end zone. Uh, but that was a heck of a run right there. We come back and really good play call by Kurt Roper. Gets the ball in the perimeter. Uh, Hayden Hurst does a nice job on the edge right there. And so you make it a 28-13 game. It's a two-score game. Uh, you know, looking for a stop defensively. And Aaron Sterling, freshman from Tucker High School over in Atlanta, Georgia, Really proud of Aaron. He's played really good football for us. Third and 22, they try and go up for a 50-50 ball. Jamarcus King does a great job of knocking the ball down. I wish he'd intercept it uh, in that situation, but we get the ball down, and here we got a boot situation. This is a dangerous throw. Jake's got to get this ball thrown away, but Hayden Hurst goes up and competes for the 50-50 ball. Outstanding job, and you see our guys competing and pushing the pile uh, down the field, but we're very fortunate there. Bad snap on, on the, the field goal here, and I hate it for Parker. He hit it well and, and hits the upright. We could have made it a three-score game in that situation. But here's third and four. We got him flushed. We got exactly what we want. He's running and then all of a sudden pulls up. And our guys came out of coverage, and you can't do that. You see both guys chasing Steven there, uh, chasing down the field. Uh, Rashad Fenton, we, we've got to stay in coverage in those situations. You can't come out of coverage until the quarterback crosses the line of scrimmage. And that was 63 yards of their yeah. total offense on that one play. Disappointing. And then here, really good pressure by Dennis Walnum. Interception right there, a huge play in the game by Jam. Uh, and then be able to get in victory formation, the best play in ball. The Gamecocks take a knee and they take the win. Will Muschamp with his victory, seventh of the season for the Gamecocks over his former school, a lot of folks coach you still have relationships with there. No doubt about it. It's all about the players to me and I got great relationships with a lot of administration down there and certainly all those players. It's, it's a great place and, and uh, I'm glad I'm a Gamecock though. Uh, as a matter of fact, those Gamecocks gave you a game ball. That's what I hear they in the did, locker room. They did. The players How nice gave us a game ball and I appreciate that. That was awesome. Carolina winners today, 28-20 over the Florida Gators. We'll have more when we come back on Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp. TD Bank, America's most convenient bank, is partnering with the Free Medical Clinic to help make a difference together. This year, every time South Carolina scores a touchdown, TD Bank will make a contribution to the Free Medical Clinic to assist with their mission of providing high quality health care and medications to vulnerable residents of the community without insurance or other coverage. So, as you pull for the Gamecocks to score another touchdown, remember that TD Bank is working to make a difference in South Carolina. I got a curb violation. B13 in pursuit. Uh oh, honey, hurry. Oh, pardon me, ma'am. Excuse me. Sorry. Excuse me, sir. Sir. It's a lift gate. Pardon me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Pardon me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Nice work. Oh. The 2017 Toyota Rav4. Lease a new 2017 Rav4 XLE for just $209 a month for 36 months. Toyota. Let's go places. Gamecock fans, Farm Bureau Insurance wants to give you a VIP game day experience this football season. Visit usccontest.com and register for your chance to be the Farm Bureau Insurance fan on the field. Winners will receive two game tickets, pregame field passes, and autographed merchandise signed by Gamecock head coach Will Muschamp. Visit usccontest.com to register today. Fan on the Field is brought to you by Farm Bureau Insurance. Get the membership advantage. Under pressure, Patty to close it out. The Gamecocks have won it four years in a row. This one's got a tail on him. He dives, he makes the catch, and the Gamecocks win it. The South Carolina Gamecocks are on top of the basketball world. They will cut down the net as the 2017 national champions. Follow your team at palmettoseries.com and look for certified SC grown where you shop. It's a matter of taste. Posting hashtag yeehaw. Hashtag I have no signal and I still can't post out here. Whoa, look out, coming through. Hey, Thomas. Howdy there, Joy. See, Joy's got the new iPhone with Verizon Unlimited. I bet I do. Best phone, best network. America's largest, most reliable 4G LTE network. She can post out here like she does in the city. Hey, 12 likes. What? Likes won't get you diddly around these parts. Yeah! No, you're going the wrong way. When you really, Ooh. really want the best, switch to Verizon Unlimited and get up to $300 off the new iPhone. 
Gamecock Film Sessions are brought to you by Ram Trucks. Guts. Glory. Ram. Hello and welcome back into Carolina Football with Will Muschamp. We're into the film session where Coach Muschamp breaks down what he's looking for in Carolina football in the film room. Here we're down on the goal line and, you know, to me this, it goes back to players, not plays. And, and we get in the situation of, of getting Hayden Hurst on the edge. You see, you know, we, we miss a little block there. The guy gets vertical on the play, but we outrun him. And then, and then the guy's going to put his pads down and get in the end zone. We knew we had two downs in this situation. We needed to get a touchdown uh, to create this to be a three-score game at the time. And a really nice job by Hayden of just getting the ball in the end zone. We missed the block on the edge. We do a really nice job right here with Jacob August sealing the edge. Casey Crosby does a nice job of finishing. Tyson Williams getting a hat on his guy. So we break one tackle, and then we're able to lower our shoulder and get in the end zone. So good bull yardage right there by Hayden. That's Film Session with Will Muschamp. We'll be back on Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp right after this. Now at Bilo, prices are down and staying down on the things you buy most. So visit your local Bilo and pick up all of your game day essentials. Bilo, premier grocery partner of the South Carolina Gamecocks. Ready, Tim? Let's do this. Was that Mike? That's Harry. The car stopped for me. And that's automatic emergency braking. The Nissan Rogue family take on today. Bottom line, they still can't touch you. <laughs> I'll take it. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. sales event is here. I can guide you in. No thanks, Santa. I got this. I mean, it looks a little tight. Perfect fit. Santa needs an F-150. That's Ford, America's best-selling brand. Hurry in for 0% financing for 72 months across a full lineup of Ford cars, trucks, and SUVs. And just announced, get 0% APR for 72 months plus 1,000 cash back. Take advantage of these exclusive holiday offers only at your Carolina Ford dealer. We just gotta take it one game at a time. Next question. Can you repeat everything you just said? My live stream won't load. Technical foul. Wrong sport. Wrong network. You see, you need unlimited on Verizon. It's America's largest, most reliable 4G LTE network. They won't let you down in places like this, even in the strike zone. It's the red zone. Pretty sure it's the strike zone. Here, use mine. All right, see you on the court, champ. Heads up. When it really, really matters, you need the best network and the best unlimited. Plans now start at $40 per line for four lines. Make a little breakfast tacos here this morning. Are you ready for Carolina football today? A three-game homestand begins for the six and three Gamecocks, and it starts with an SEC finale for the 2017 season. In his second year, Will Muschamp has his Gamecocks position for a final run for the best season in since 2013. Allen Knott sits down in the middle of the field. Bentley rolls right, looking towards the back of the end zone. Now Jake trying to run it. Breaks one tackle, steps into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown, Jake Bentley from four yards out. Three wide receivers set. Fake, Bentley now rolling right, throwing down the sideline. is picked off. It's a comeback route and an escape at the 25-yard line and running inside the 10, down to the three. Fumble the football. And it's picked up by the Gamecocks. And Turner's coming down the near sideline. Are you kidding me? And it'll be Turner. No, check that Monson. Straight up the middle. Mon Denson from 24 yards out. Touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown, Mon Denson. It's his first touchdown as a Gamecock. Bentley going to get under center. Denson's alone back. Bentley handoff. Denson straight up the middle. First down and more. Mon Denson into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown, Mon Denson, the second on the day for the fourth down in inches. Bentley going to take it himself. Right side, got a blocker at the five. Steps and walks into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown, Jake Bentley. 
from seven yards out. A big win for Will Muschamp and this football team. Five in conference, seven overall, and the best season in a long time at williams Bryce Stadium. Palmetto Pride is South Carolina's anti-litter and beautification organization, and they've teamed up with the Gamecocks for a litter-free game day in and around williams Bryce Stadium. Prior to each home game, one group of fans will be chosen as our Palmetto Pride tailgaters of the game for keeping their tailgate spot litter-free. Tweet your tailgate location to us using the hashtag LitterFreeSC, and you can score a great prize pack for your tailgate. Good hard work has earned Kate Eagleton the title of Colonial Life Academic Athlete of the Week. A member of the equestrian team, Eagleton is a junior visual communications major with a 4.0 GPA. This week's academic athlete is brought to you by Colonial Life. Colonial Life, the benefits of good hard work. Turner's in the backfield, snap it back. And it'll be Turner, no, check that Munson. Straight up the middle, Mon Denson from 24 yards out. Touchdown Carolina, touchdown Mon Denson. It's his first touchdown as a Gamecock. And the extra point get out, Carolina up 14, nothing with 2.08 to go in the first quarter. What a hole right up the middle. What a hole and what a read that time by Denson as well because the back's got to read the block and did a good job of finding it. And of course, once he broke the line of scrimmage, there was no one there. That's our Sansbury Eye Center. Did you see that play? The first touchdown of the career for Mon Denson. And, and coach, that's what you draw up. When you're trying to run the football against a team that plays a lot of man, that's what can happen up the middle. Well blocked by our offensive line. Really good play call by Kurt Roper and our offensive staff and hit the second level and hit the gas and no breaks and, and go score in the end zone. But I'm really proud of Mon. Here's a guy that wasn't playing much to start the year. And he never complained. He kept playing. He waiting his turn, waiting his turn. When, he, when his opportunity happened, he made it happen. And uh, congratulations, our Terminex Pest player of the game. It's his running mate, A.J. Turner, with a career-high 136 yards. Coach, I think he had 22 rushes, a couple catches as well. I'd like to know what his bull yardage was. I don't have it off the top of my hand, but yards after first contact, outstanding job of churning your feet, gaining extra yards, competing every down. What you don't see is him covering kickoffs and on punt return and all the different stuff he does. He covers punts. He's on every phase of our special teams. Coach, who would you pick out if we went to the defensive side as potentially a Terminex Pest player of the game? A lot of guys made tackles. Uh, Javon Kenlaw had four, uh, Brunson and, and Sky continue to battle out in the tackle area. Jamarcus King, another nut pass breakup today as well. Well, I think the guys you mentioned, I think, played extremely well. I thought we really dominated the line of scrimmage. I think Javon Kenlaw, to see him go make a, a play on a screen at 308 pounds on the perimeter. Taylor Stallworth, I thought, really showed up. Dennis Wollum gave his usual outstanding performance. So, uh, really proud of how we were able to control the line of scrimmage. A lot of guys rotating in that, into that lineup today to help out and contribute to a Carolina win. It's always good. It's always good to hear from my Carolina. This is it. This is the moment when legacies are made and good becomes glorious. But legacies aren't just granted on game day. You can make them anytime. Will it be today or someday? The glory lies in your choice. This is the moment. What will your legacy be? You build legacies, we protect them. We had a large storm and our home was hit pretty bad. The next day a friend of ours recommended Crescent Construction. They came out and replaced our entire roof, and we were very pleased with the work they did. Call Crescent Construction's professional staff to do a detailed roof inspection at your home today. Absolutely free. I've already referred Crescent Construction to a friend of mine. Call Crescent Construction, South Carolina's number one roofer and the official roofer of the Carolina Gamecocks. I got a curb violation, B13 in pursuit. Uh-oh, honey, hurry. Pardon me, ma'am. 
Sorry. Excuse me, sir. Sir? Hit the left gate! Pardon me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Pardon me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Nice work. Oh. The 2017 Toyota RAV4. Lease a new 2017 RAV4 XLE for just $209 a month for 36 months. Toyota, let's go places. Gamecock fans, Farm Bureau Insurance wants to give you a VIP game day experience this football season. Visit usccontest.com and register for your chance to be the Farm Bureau Insurance fan on the field. Winners will receive two game tickets, pregame field passes, and autographed merchandise signed by Gamecock head coach Will Muschamp. Visit usccontest.com to register today. Fan on the Field is brought to you by Farm Bureau Insurance. Get the membership advantage. Gamecock football with Will Muschamp is brought to you by Wild Wing Cafe. We've got just the thing to make you wild. Crescent Construction, the official roofer of the Gamecocks. Ram Trucks, guts, glory, Ram. Coach Muschamp's clothes are provided by Britons of Columbia. Gamecock football with Coach Will Muschamp is a production of Gamecock Sports Marketing. Welcome back to Gamecocks with seven wins on the season and coach two to go and the Walford Terriers are next. You step out of conference play. That was the last conference game of the year and uh, the team from the upstate brings something that nobody likes to see and that's the option game because you rarely practice against it. Why is it so tough and, and how have they been so successful? I think they're like nine and one on the season. They're nine and one and, and again I think Mike and his staff do an outstanding job of you got to play disciplined football defensively and it's nothing like we've seen all year as far as whether it's taking the fullback, taking the quarterback, taking the pitch. On every single play you've got to have assignment football and you've got to carry out the assignments. On defense there can't be any I thought. Mm -hmm. I thought he had it. Well I thought means it was 30 yards later. So, so those are situations defensively and we don't face a lot of this stuff so all of a sudden it pops up on you and, and you've got to get ready in a week to get ready. But our, our, I know our guys will work. Uh, we've spent a lot of time in the offseason on Wofford because it is so different for our football team we need to go execute their three down structure defensively and we need to continue to progress offensively coach Jake five interceptions in the last two ball games made a lot of nice plays anything you're overly concerned about not really the the the, the, the interception before half against Georgia he's hitting the back you know the one minute situation he's trying to make a play you know trying to get the ball vertically down the field uh, I want to find out exactly decision making coming off the goal line whether the receiver broke the route or where Jake should he could have hit in the over route which was open as well and then the two other their interceptions but I know one thing there's nobody's going to compete harder than Jake Bentley I'm glad he's our quarterback uh, other than maybe Will Muschamp who's got his football team to seven wins already exceeded from a year ago in the win total five conference wins that's the best since 2013 and they did it today by taking down somebody he's fairly familiar with the Florida Gators they beat them 28 to 20 we'll see you next time on Gamecock football with Will Muschamp